this video is gonna be like a vlog and an informative video I'll try to keep it as informative as possible so you guys can get as much as as much as information from this video why do you think training for aesthetics is different from uh, bodybuilding okay when you are both hey, yo danny 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 <gasps> oh tell me who's getting it well fucking upgrade to eat fit over the cheaper answer yo what is up people it's been a while since i've done a vlog and today as you can see bangalore weather is beautiful and i was like you know what let's go vlog today plus we are going to go train at relentless yes we are all ready to go to the gym my coach will come he'll be training danny today and we'll be asking him also some advices and tips on why training for aesthetics and bodybuilding is the same according to me i think there is only very small difference and i will explain to you while we are traveling or during the workout today we'll have an amazing back and chest session this video is going to be like a vlog and an informative video i'll try to keep it as informative as possible so you guys can get as much as as much as information from this video so right now i'll go pick my coach and then i'll talk to you and then i'll talk to you guys regarding the similarities between training for bodybuilding and training for aesthetics let's go whenever i go to train i carry one extra pair of t-shirt because yeah i carry one extra pair of t-shirt in case if it is uh, if i get all sweaty i don't want to wear the same t-shirt and roam around so i carry one extra pair to wear after the training towel essentials one pair of shoes which goes matching with my bag coincidentally uh i'll take this to wear at the gym i used to be a sneaker head not anymore i cannot spend so much money on these i, I can't afford those instead i will spend money on my health which is a good decision if you are someone who spends money like the old edwin who used to spend for shoes and everything start spending your money for your health boys cuz health is wealth The reason why you have to take one scoop before the workout and one scoop after the workout is because your pre-workout meal should be similar to your post-workout meal. It should have some amount of carbs and protein, and I take one scoop of protein for our post-workout. That is all. I try to keep the video as short as possible and as informative as possible, so you know you guys can benefit from it. Right now we'll go pick Basker. Basker is also joining us. We'll go pick my coach. Then we'll head over to Relentless Gym, train with Danny, have a good chest and back session. Talk to you guys about uh, why bodybuilding and training for aesthetic is almost the same. Let's go. Yeah, Delson. Why do you think training for aesthetics is different from uh, bodybuilding? Okay, when you are working for uh, aesthetics, we we try to show off the muscle completely, right? So yes. as shred as possible. Yes. Um, so that for that we try to do an endurance training. So I will ask you to do, for example, pull-ups. Okay. If you are muscle building, if you are muscle building with calorie surplus, um, I may ask you to do weight pull-ups. Okay. Progressively increase the weights and do pull-ups. But if you are working on aesthetics, okay, the nutrition will be calorie deficit, and I may ask you to do like twenty reps of. But pull during ups. this calorie deficit, don't do you think uh, we can build muscle? Actually, you can build muscle, but not much. Not a lot. Yes. Okay. Oh, bro, I'm going through down. Okay, because my dad should not get the message. Dad is not at home. He doesn't know I'm taking that. Yeah, yeah. That is also I hope he's not. Oh yeah, that is, I hope he's not watching this video. <laughs> If he's watching this video, then we do changes and. Uh, so you're telling, different. you're telling, uh, training for aesthetics, it should be like uh, David Goggins training, like a lot of reps and. Get it, seventeen. They don't know me, son. Get it, eighteen. They don't know me, son. 
low weight. Kind of. You tell me what is your PR in sports? I don't do squats at all. Only pendulum squats. Okay. Nothing compares to squats. Why do a movement that where it looks good, but it produces hardly any results? I don't care how much weight you can use. I'd rather do. Pendulum squats. You tell me what's your PR? Twenty five kg. Twenty five kg in each side. Yeah, each side. Which is fifty oh. kg. Okay. Yes. So imagine you are in uh, calorie deficit like Bhaskar. Yes. Bhaskar is having thousand three hundred calories. Yes. Imagine you are eating thousand three hundred calories. Okay. And is it possible for you to do pendulum no, squat? Not. Huh? It's not. Why? Because I'm very low in uh, calories and it's hard for me to train hard. Okay. So what will we do? In this case, what will you do? Because when you were in surplus, you were lifting twenty-five plates each side. Now you are in deficit. Okay, I have to. Calories. I have to reduce weight and increase reps. Yes. So that is the only. Thing. That's the only thing. Sorry. Right. Thank you. Boy, how's the endless jam? What's up? How are you, Jee? Yeah. Good. See you. How's the endless? Yeah. <laughs> Too good. Waiting. Waiting. Again. Three minutes left. I don't know. Three. Alright. Alright. me all matching huh? with my shoes plates all right sir okay should you should have the nastiest pump in your life oh, is it Now if I am someone who's training for aesthetics how would you suggest my reps and uh, training should be like okay. from your pr let's reduce 30% of your pr let's do two working sets which can be somewhere between 10 to 15 reps okay two sets and then from there again you reduce 15% from your uh, working set and do three sets of drop set so then you will understand the difference between uh, bodybuilding and, body building and uh, working out on aesthetics. So when you work out more on aesthetics, it should be like an endurance weightlifting. So your heart rate should be high. Uh, of course, even when you are lifting heavy, the heart rate is high, but it should be an intense activity. What do you think about those people who are chasing aesthetics over bodybuilding? They need a proper guidance. Aesthetics. is easily achievable than the bodybuilding but most of them uh, try for a longer time and especially indians because of their genetics they get disappointed do you think uh, indian genetics and uh, others you know there's a lot of difference yeah yeah indian genetics is generally 
low in protein actually match your protein uh, at least i recommend every one who wants to work on aesthetics to match their body weight into 1 gram of protein at least and go crazy in working out proper uh, resistance training like this how we are going to how we are going to do this yes. Alrighty, filling up every space, no privacy. Uh, and silently, it could build and build until you find the sea. Whoa, it's taking over. Damn, no closure, moving closer. No exposure, I just wanna be a loner. Uh, some can't stay sober, looking over all their shoulders. Like moving boulders just to get out of the home. It sucks, I've had enough. I don't wanna feel the stuck under the rug. All my problems that I shove. I got nightmares in my head. I feel... Don't be a bitch. Yes, yes, coach. Three. Few moments later. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. A few seconds break. Few seconds break. Let's split this in. Even, even let's split this into five, five. Hmm? I think you're done. Go ahead. Come on, come on. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm saying your break is done. Break you can done. work out. <laughs> Sometimes it could be a little tough I just need to feel like the end's inside for me But let's be really real Anxiety can foggy all this stuff I've been feeling weird I can't seem to focus good enough Nothing's really clear Sometimes it could be a little tough I just need to feel like the end's inside for me But let's be really real Anxiety can foggy all yeah. this stuff it sucks when you finally feel like giving up oh god no luck everything feels like you're sticky stuck i'm lost handcuffed hey yo danny 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 yes. bro what do you think about those people who's chasing aesthetics over bodybuilding it's because of uh, <laughs> this is a very uh, uh, i don't know what danny has to tell me i mean i used to chase aesthetics i mean i still chase bro. yeah that's amazing actually Aesthetically please, pleasing individual, but I feel like every to me to be honest, every person. Okay, no, don't take dolo. Okay. On the influencer space. From now on. Should try competing once, bro. In my opinion. Experience. And see what it actually like takes. Challenge yourself. I'm not speaking like oh, challenge your nasty stats or whatever, but just go for it, bro. Go for your. See what your body can do. If you're giving some tips okay. to someone who's trying to build good physique, uh -huh. someone who's trying to, uh, let's say he's chasing for aesthetics, okay. what what three tips you would give them? Very essential. Okay. First, hire a coach. Second, right. fix your nutrition and be consistent in that. In a way, let me put it in this way, be in a restrictive high protein diet and third plan your workout so yeah just these three things resistance training in short that is all yeah okay. hire a coach fix your nutrition apart from hiring a coach do you think do you think they can build muscle even without hiring a coach yeah they can but uh, you need you need to be accountable to someone maybe your friend mentor someone basically accountable Basic accountability. If we slightly increase the calorie from calorie deficit, you get so excited. Wow, food. And you hop. So what happens is diarrhea. Okay, it will impact your digestion. It will impact your I mean, gut health. Of course, you will have diarrhea. Or something. For few athletes, this happens. Excitement after seeing uh, calories. So don't do that. Yeah. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Is everybody in the world gone? Please, Lord, give me a sign. I'm getting cramps. Um, yeah, I had my tooth extraction, so I couldn't eat, eat much calories. So 
Yeah, I'm in Calgary the visit kind of for two days. So it's affecting my performance. Uh -huh. okay. Okay. The top is so vacant. Let's I don't go. need shit that I think is amazing. Waiting for my day when I'm playing. Sold out shows for a thousand faces. Yeah. Hey! Hold wider. Yes, sir. Hold it out. Alright boys, how was the session today? Great. Glad. Danny is uh, tired. Exhausted. <laughs> Not tired, exhausted. Alright. Until next time, Danny. See you next week. Okay. Next week it is. Next week it is. Next week. Alright. Leave. Look at this boy. Oleo pizza. Upgrade to eat fit. Okay. Oh, don't think about it, sir. Yeah, you. <laughs> in, in every shape, you end up naming fit, fit, fit. <laughs> and it what? becomes fit. Eat. <laughs> yeah, you eat shit. Bro, that is crazy. So you, you, you'll see in future, maybe. For that cheesecake, eat fit. <laughs> Do you, do you think all these things can be added to our uh, diet? <laughs> yeah, it's better you, you get a dog.